Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna have a kind of a double unboxing and review video. So it might be a little bit longer, but this is on the heels of some very good news for you guys in the US. These are the Megami device uh, Shadow Edition versions of the uh, Astra Archer as well as the Astra Ninja. And these have been out for a while and as you can tell by the monochrome box art, they're kind of similar to the P Bandai kits in that these were Kotobukiya web shop exclusive kits, uh, but a little bit different from Bandai is sometimes Kotobukiya just ships out their, Kotob their uh, Kotobukiya web shop exclusive stuff. Sometimes they just ship them out with their normal shipments uh, to different retailers and things like that. So at USA Gundam Store, they recently got a big shipment from Kotobukiya with a bunch of new stuff, but also I saw included was also these. So now you guys uh, in the US now have a chance to get your hands on these really cool color versions of the Ninja and the Archer kits. The Shadow Edition colors are really cool like black, purple, and gold for them. They look really nice. So I've had these sitting here on my shelf for a little while and I saw that uh, now these are going to be available for you guys in the US. It's a perfect time for me to go ahead and review them and let you guys know about them. So we'll just do it in a joint review. If you guys are interested in seeing a more in-depth review of either of these kits, I've already reviewed them both separately, uh, the Aoi versions of them. So today's review is going to be basically just kind of more showing you the kits and everything that you get included in the box and then of course just the review of the kits themselves, uh, but not quite as in-depth as what I would normally do. So again, if you're interested in that, let's go back and check out the previous reviews. But for now, let's go ahead and check them out. The boxes, anyway. So starting off here with the Ninja, and while it's cool that it's an exclusive kit, I don't, I mean, the box is just honestly not as nice as just the regular standard edition box. You know, it's got that limited edition feel with it being all monochrome like that, but I do just like the regular boxes. So it's just on all this gloss finish here. You just got, this is number five in the Megami device line, the original version of the Ninja. Anyway, so you got the image there of that, and then the same thing kind of around here on the sides. On the bottom of the box, there you can see what she's gonna look like armed up anyway. Again, still it's just all in monochrome, but there's then without the armor. You also got some swords included, which I believe those are maybe uh, new for this version of the kit that the regular edition doesn't include those. Yeah, it's saying here that the pictures and illustrations on the package are the same as the original version of the Astro Ninja, so it's just saying that these pictures aren't uh, new. Anyway, and here you can make the samurai version by combining the parts with the ninja, ninja and the archer together. You can make this uh, more armored up version with everything on there. On the opposite side here you can see our face options for this. You got just a regular face, angry face, and then the masked face there as well too, and some decals, those look nice. Nice big decal sheet including eyes and then a bunch of other stuff on there as well too. The price for this one looking at around 6400 yen, so around 60-65 dollars for this is pretty normal. All right, inside here you can see we got that nice dark purple, so I guess not black, I thought it was black, but it's just a really dark purple. Some dark blue and some silver and gold for our accents. And all right, yes, so for our instruction manual, it's just going to be exactly the same, but then we have our decals, which are in gold and look really nice. And so here is for the Shadow Edition. So this is giving you the colors for that. And again, as you can see, it's in that really dark purple and kind of purple color with the gold accents and stuff. It looks really nice. I really like the color scheme for this version. There it is uh, with everything all armored up. And you can see where the decals go around on that and everything. Uh, and then on the back side, building the weapon. So yeah, it just comes with this sword weapon. This is just a regular MSG option set weapon that you can get, just the sword, very simple, uh, but that's included with this version of the kit. So it's cool, it's always nice when they make these alt color versions if they include something else different, like with the Aoi version came with a little bit different hair parts. Uh, this one comes with uh, another sword weapon included in there as well too. So it's a small thing, but that's nice. Even better though is these beautiful looking gold decals and you got the eye decals there looking really nice. Of course, as always, some company device logo decals down here, but all that gold looks super cool. As for the instruction manual here, it's just going to be, again, just the same as usual. You'll just have to imagine the kit there in different colors, but everything in here is the same. You got the parts list, you got all the construction for that. And here at the back, you got the color guide and the decal marking guide for just the regular version if you wanted to refer to this, but uh, that is all there as usual. So getting to all the parts and renders and everything, we got your regular base plate here in this dark navy blue color. Lots of hand options here. It looks like uh, we've got closed fists, open resting hands, open expressive hands, holding hands, trigger finger, holding hands, all uh, without the pre-molded wrist joint on there. And then we've got some here with the wrist joint molded on here for closed fists, open resting hands, open expressive hands, holding hands, and holding hands with trigger finger. So the same set of hands, both with uh, the wrist molded in together or without where you use the articulated wrist joint. Again, our face parts here, as always, looking top quality there from Kurbukia. Beautiful colors on that. You got one, two, three face parts there, all looking very nice. And then one part here, Q1, is just a separate part there just for the chest. 
And then a couple of the parts here with just some pre-painting for around the hip section, that darker color is pre-painted on there on the front and back part of the hip section there on the inside you can see that and this part here we got a little bit of a darker color painted on the sides of this part there for the sides of the face all right so a runner here in this very dark purple color parts for the body runners b c and d are all of your skin tone parts there for the kit that you'll need runner e also in dark purple is some joint parts for the arms knees and wrists we've got two of those runner f in a little bit lighter purple color there is some different accents for around on the armor Runner G is in a molded gold for a couple of little gold accents on there, it looks very nice. Runner H, once again in dark purple, some parts for the body and then a couple parts there for the stand as well too. Runner I, some more dark purple armor parts and you can see these are in a nice kind of glossy finish as well too. And Runner J as well, some more dark purple armor parts, we've got two of this J runner. Runner K now in a third shade of purple is in just kind of a standard, pretty bright looking kind of purple color there, it looks really nice, Runner K. And Runner L is also in that same color, we've got two of this L runner. Runner M is in a molded silver there for the blades for our bladed weapons. Runner N1 here is all of our hair parts which is in a kind of dark dull gray basically kind of meant to look black essentially. Runner O1 is here in our bright purple color. Runner P1 is in our lighter kind of dull purple color there for some more weapons parts. Runner R1 is back to the dark purple color. Runner S1 here as well again just for a couple more weapons parts on there we got two of those. Runner T1 is a couple more little gold accent parts. Runner U1 then again some more weapons parts here in the bright purple color and finally our usual z runner here for some more joint parts and stuff in this dark purple abs plastic finally then our new sword parts here gives you the ability to make a longer type sword or a shorter type sword so we'll see those in use here in just a bit but there's your sword parts which again are also molded in silver but okay then as for the aspera archer kit we can expect to see basically the same thing on the round of the box art there it's basically the same just all in monochrome here on the bottom of the box there you can see with its big massive bow weapon there, a couple of cool poses there, posed without all the armor on there, and then with some weapons. It looks like this one for its bonus parts, instead of coming with a bonus weapon, is coming with a bonus Megami device base, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a nice bonus to have included in here as well. And then in here, the samurai form of the uh, archer, looking very cool there. If you include parts from the ninja and the archer together, you can make it look like that, which is pretty cool. On the opposite side, there is our face options for this. I love the faces for the uh, archer kit, how it has like the little uh, uh, kind of marks there on the side of her cheeks. It's kind of a cool little just addition to her face design. So you got her face options there and then all of our decals which I'm guessing are hopefully going to be in gold again for this kit here as well too. We'll see in just a moment. This one as well, the same list price is 6400 yen for this one. And let's see here, we can expect to see pretty much mostly the same thing. The hair is white in this case, where it was black with the ninja. In this one we've got white hair. Here is the base, very cool. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. First, just want to take a look at this stuff. So once again, we have just the standard instruction manual from the original kit, which will include just all your sample images like that. These are great for posing references too, by the way, for if you're, uh, because the, these kits, they have a lot of options in them with the included parts. There's so many different things that you can do. Uh, so it's always nice to, to refer to these images to just get a good idea on how you might want to do that. You've got your parts list, your general construction, and then just the color guide and the marking guide down here at the back. But this is for our actual shadow edition. So as you can see there, it's got that kind of off-white color for the hair, which looks pretty cool, and the color guide there for that, and then the armored up version looking like that. On the back side, just how to assemble the base for that too, which should work pretty nicely. And then indeed, once again, our water slide decals are in gold and look very nice. The eye decals down there as well too look really nice. So you got that two-tone color there for those. They're kind of uh, blue and pinkish, so really nice colors there for the eyes as well, but fantastic markings. So once again, we got the same dark purplish blue color here for our base plate and the same sets of hands here included with this one as well too. Closed fists, open resting hands, open expressive hands, holding hands, trigger finger extended holding hands both without the wrist joint molded together and with the wrist joint molded together. Our beautifully pre-painted face parts here as well too. One, angry, two, happy, three. So some nice uh, expressions there on this one. And then once again, runner Q2 there for our uh, breast part. And the same pre-painted parts here for the hip section, front and back. You've got that little dark bit pre-painted on there and on the inside of that one. And then in here too, we also just have our U2 in dark purple and a T2 runners here, this time molded, this one molded in uh, gold there. Uh, runners just pre-packaged with this little set. And here is the included base, looking very nice in this uh, uh, translucent 
black with that pre-printed gold on there. It looks very cool and you got uh, screws in there for the arms of this. So it looks like a pretty substantial base, a pretty nice one that's gonna be very useful. Most of the runner is gonna be the same, so I'll just kind of go through these quickly, but the color is a little bit different. For example, the A runner here on the Ninja Kit, this was in the dark purple. In this case, it's in the kind of a little bit lighter purple color. And once again, runners B, C, and D are all of our skin tone parts for the kit. Runner E is, again, our joint parts, but again, it's, it seems to be swapped the dark co color purple parts and the lighter color purple parts uh, seem to be swapped between the two kits. So with the Ninja, these were darker, and now they're in the lighter color. Runner F, some more lighter color purple armor parts. Runner G, once again, our molded gold accent parts. Runner H is the same though in that it's in the same dark purple color there. Same thing for Runner I here as well too, it's in the dark purple color. And Runner J as well, also in the dark purple color. But with the addition of these parts down here at the bottom, these three parts at the bottom of the J Runner are new for this version of the kit. Or I should say, not the Shadow Edition, but I mean, compared to the Ninja Kit, the Ninja Kit only has this section of the J Runner. Uh, the Archer Kit now has this section added on there as well too. Runner K, once again, is in this brighter purple color. And the same thing for Runner L, is in this nice, bright looking purple color. It looks very nice. Runner M, once again, our blade parts for the kit are molded in silver. And Runner N2 is all of our hair parts in this really nice, slightly cream colored off white. Runner O2 then is getting into some of the uh, Archer exclusive weapons parts. This is in the brighter purple color. We have got two of this O2 runner. Runner P2, again, more specifically, Archer parts here in the lighter purple color. Runner R2, some weapons parts here in dark purple. And then Runner S2, some more weapons parts here in dark purple as well. And Runner Z in the lighter color purple is our usual joint parts. So there you have it guys, there's everything in the boxes. Let me go ahead and get these all built up. I'm really looking forward to building them again because I've built the Aoi versions before and I do really like these two Megami device kits quite a bit. So I'm really looking forward to building them again. Let me go ahead and do that and then we'll see how they look. All right guys, so here is the pair of them all built up, looking very cool in those new colors. I really like color schemes for these. That's kind of, I guess, the whole purpose of these kits, really. Uh, if you're gonna get these special versions over the original versions. Aside from the swords included with the ninja and the base included with the archer, which are both things that are also available by other means. The base, I, I think, is available from time to time, but I'm not sure how if, if that's like uh, something that you can just buy. The swords, however, is obviously just an option set of weapons that you can get at just at any time. So uh, really you're gonna be buying this set if you like the colors that they're molded in and they do I look really nice, I think. The two-tone kind of dark purplish colors with the gold accents on there do look really nice. And then just the changes to the hair color and everything as well too. So I mean, they they look fantastic. And all the weapons, everything you get included, of course, with these, as you guys may know, you know, there's tons of stuff that you can do with them. So we'll take a look at all that here in just a second. I won't really get into the articulation in this video because I've already covered that in my reviews of the Aoi versions of them. And basically, if you guys have built any of these kits, you have a good idea of what the articulation is like on them. So don't really need to get into that. But overall, I mean, the details, everything looks fantastic. Again, the faces look really nice, really like the, the colors that we've got for the eyes and everything with these as well. So I guess that's another difference that is also from the regular versions if you prefer the eye colors and everything. I guess the decals are also different with this set. So that's something to make you inspired to want to pick up this set as well too even if you already have the regular normal colored set or the alloy version or i believe there's maybe one or two other versions as well too out there i know so for the ninja's weapons here is what those look like the two kind of main ones which will attach onto the arms but of course you can kind of attach these onto anywhere the, those also look really nice with the molded silver blades and the little gold highlights on there and we also have these little handle parts here so if you take out the blade from the main weapon then you can plug it onto this for just like this smaller thing just a little handheld a uh, big blade there like that could be also pretty cool. We additionally got her smaller blades here which can just be plugged onto somewhere or you can take these off of kind of like their holsters and they can just be a little handheld like little uh, kunai weapons I guess sort of like the small swords da dagger kind of little things. And the connection pieces for those are mirrored opposite so one would be for the left one would be for the right so you can plug those onto there or I don't know if you wanted to really get wild you could uh, double them up like that I don't know doing something like that anyway. And the other weapons are going to be this sort of like a throwing star kind of weapon. This is very large anyway. And then this other sort of sword here like this, which is again, just very simple, but I do really like the design of this sword as well too. And once again, this is asymmetrical. You've got the plug for plugging this onto your kit there, male on one side, female on the other. So you can plug that onto anywhere or you can use an adapter piece or something. And then for the unarmored form, you've got just these simpler arms and legs there, which are all just molded in the darker purple color. You've got your alternate chest piece for that as well too. 
like that. And then you also will swap out this skin tone piece there in the center of the stomach as well too. I mean, you could have these on there like that and I'll mix and match and I'll show you guys some of those options a little bit later on. And then again, here is the swords that you get. So you got one which is just uh, in the sheath. As you can see, there's just uh, nothing there for that. And then the one that's out. Then we have a connector piece for that as well too. So you could plug that onto somewhere on the kit, wherever you want, like that. And then we've got the longer version, which just for a comparison is going to be like this. So not only is the blade longer, the handle is longer and the blade is longer like that. So we then also have a double connection piece here like this. So you can plug both of these, just that just slides right into there. And you can plug that onto the kit wherever you want like that. So pretty cool, molded all in silver. I mean, it's kind of fine, but you might want to paint either the, the like the handle or basically just paint everything except for the sword blade. So it's like mask off the sword blade and just paint everything else. But I mean, it's up to you. And uh, of course also our optional hair parts for the version of the head without that part on there. So again, just kind of the unarmored version and the ninja mask face there as well too. So all looks fantastic. And here is the archer once again. I just really love the colors there for the eyes. The faces look really nice and just everything colors look really nice. You got the big armor parts down there on the front of her legs like that and the new really bright blonde uh, kind of like almost white hair there also looks really cool on the character. Very similar to the Aoi version. Now for her main weapon, we've got this big massive bow, which I mean is just basically made up of two big sword blades. So, I mean, you could get creative with how you wanted to use this, but it's essentially meant to be the bow there, of course, as her archer name would imply. And you've got this other connection piece too that you're gonna use for that, for connecting this onto the arm for added stability. Again, we'll see all that here in a little bit. Here is her other kind of secondary weapon to be this sword here like this, this big long sword. It's a pretty good size, just all one bit. It doesn't like break down into separate parts or anything like that. So you just got that. And you've got the same little set of kind of kunai blades here. So if you have the, the set of both of them, you would have four of these that you could attach onto something could be looking pretty cool. And then once again, for the unarmored version, you've got the arms and legs. This time they're in the kind of lighter purple with the uh, ninja kit there in the dark purple. So if you want to mix and match, say you prefer the lighter purple or whatever for the ninja, you could use these on one or the other like that. And also for the unarmored version, you've got an alternate chest piece there with obviously a lot more skin showing and then this skin section there for the center of the outfit as well too, you'll replace those out. And while the base does look really nice, you have this extra arm, which I mean, you got the arm of the base will basically go in the center of that like that, but you've got this extra kind of little add-on section, which is nice, but I wish that that could attach up here onto the top so then you could have the arm going out like that over the center of the base. But basically as it is, you can only attach it onto this side or this side or down here because these are just kind of all molded on these connection parts. Obviously, if you cut that off, you could then, you know, glue or however else attach this onto the top of there, but it would be, be a little bit strange. So anyway, I wish that the printing on this was the other way around, the opposite way so that when you put this part onto there, it's not at the front, but it would be at the back instead, if that makes sense. And then for her as well too, you've got the alternate hair parts there for the back of the head when you have the unarmored version without that thing on there, on the back side of the head there like that. Oh, and edit, oh yeah, I forgot the swords actually do pop out of there. So you do have two separate swords that you've got out of the bow as well too, if you prefer to use those like that, which I think are actually really cool looking here. But all right, so basically, yeah, I just want to then finish up this review by just showing you guys some examples of some different poses. Basically, I'm just gonna use the poses that are demonstrated in the manual. I figure that's a good way to show off all the different weapon option combinations. But then again, I'm only showing you guys a fraction, but really, I'm only showing you guys a, a few examples of each of these. But of course, there's a lot more different uh, poses and things that you can do with these. Uh, ways that you uh, use the weapons or how we have them uh, weapons arranged and everything like that too. A lot of customization you can do with these. That's one reason why I really like the Megami device line. They are very customizable by just what you have in the box. More so than like, for example, Frame Arms Girls you usually don't quite, quite have so much like uh, packed with the kits in the box. You basically have like your basic set of accessories which have a specific purpose uh, where these with Megami device kits mostly, I mean, they have they're a lot more versatile in the parts that you get included. You can move them around. For example, the with the archer, you can put the leg uh, armor pieces up on her like arms, on her shoulders, kind of. You can mix and match between the two different kits very easily, as they're both like you got two different kits that are basically in the same style. So you know, mixing and matching parts and weapons between the two of them also is very easy to do as well too. You got a lot of weapons where like the archer's bow also doubles as a set of swords, uh, whereas like the ninja's kind of shield sword. 
It's kind of, I don't really know what to call those, but anyway. Those are quite interesting, versatile kind of weapons that can be used in a lot of different ways, and they can be attached onto a lot of different areas as well, too, on the kit, on the shoulders, on the forearms, on the sides of the legs, on the sides of the thighs. Uh, basically, you've got a lot of options in with these, and that's what makes them really a lot of fun to play around with. Um, also, of course, one cool thing that you could do if you have the original like red, black, and white versions of these, uh, just the original color versions, or whatever other color versions, you can mix and match parts between this set and that too. So if you wanted to have like a, a dark color like bodysuit, take those parts from this kit, and then like the light colored weapons with the AOE version, something like that, you can mix and match, which is really fun too. Again, that's just assuming you're not going to paint. Obviously, if you're paint, if you're going to be painting, you can paint whatever parts and whatever color you want. But uh, assuming that you're not going to do that, then there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with these sets. So definitely highly recommend them. As always, guys, you know, I would recommend you guys to check out some of these kits. If you never have, they're a lot of fun uh, to build a good change from the mecha stuff always. So I always enjoy building these. And even though I've now built these exact kits before, I really enjoyed building them again. So I really like these pair. It's pretty easy to see why the Ninja and the Archer are probably two of the most uh, popular or the most popular uh, in the Gummy Device line, I know that they've seen multiple versions. They've got like different figures of them as well too, and there's I think I saw there's like a new set of figures of them coming out in the near future as well too. So easy to see why they're so popular. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching today. If you're interested, check out the set at USA Gundam Store. Again, the link and the coupon code for you guys to use will be down in the video description below. So check that out. And thank you guys all so much for your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. All that is greatly appreciated. So until next time, I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.